Hey guys, we're in the beautiful beachside town of Narrabeen at the Lionfish Collective Tadu and Barbershop. We're on the hunt to find the most versatile artist and to do so we're going to compete in a friendly drawing challenge. The winner will receive $20 and the loser is going to get caked. Let's meet our contestants. To choose today's topics, we will be engaging in the ancient art of desk chair jousting. Today's topic will be a geometric predator back piece. We'll only have 60 minutes to draw and we're not allowed to use any references. For the predator subject, I picked a tiger and I wanted that to be the focal point of the back piece. So I put it smack bang in the center. I really wanted to break the back up into sections and have the geometry act as a nice design feature throughout it all. Looking back, I'd probably change the size of the tiger's head and a few yeah, perspective changes and that kind of thing, but ultimately happy with how it turned out. So I started doing a bee, like a human bee. I was thinking a human would be a predator for my art. I started with that, I kind of like I changed the idea. I went for like a crocodile. I think crocodile would be more angry. Like one thing I knew was I want something like demonic. So I follow with the demonic satanic symbols and I kind of use some brush to help me like and I got like some geometric around. So I got my art like demonic art, geometric art. <laughs> That's it. So I achei muito maneiro o desafio e uma hora foi foi bem legal desenvolver um uma arte assim em cima da hora. É, eu me inspirei em fazer umas baleias, que tá na época da baleia, eu vi uma baleia esses dias aí. E achei legal botar baleia com forma geométrica nas costas. For my design, I chose to draw a snake. I think they flow pretty well with the shape of the back, and also I couldn't really think of any other predators to draw off the top of my head. I didn't have time to put too many details into the snake. So I kept it simple and focused on doing clean line work. I chucked a mandala behind it and played around with some different layers until it looked cool and that was pretty much it. Then given the topic of geometric, I was very unsure. First thing came to mind was trying to build up a apex predator by shapes. It started with a very rough drawing and then chucked in a snake under an eagle and then just try to build it up, get some uh, contrast in there. And I was hoping the shadows would be better, but yeah, I guess try to bite off more than I could chew and ended up with quite an interesting design. <laughs> That's all. Now, onto the judgment. To help us pick a winner, we are joined by the legendary Volta. With over 20 years of experience as an artist, he really knows his stuff. Traces that you choose, oh sorry. So what I like about these ones is how it fits on the back. It gives a little, it gives, you know what I mean, it's a really nice placement. But it's, what I don't like about it, it's a little bit of the same on the background and the subject's a little bit smaller than the background. So it takes more attention on the background than the subject. It goes to 6.7. The placement, it's really nice. A really good thing, it's the creativity and the layers of the design, like you see two, three, three different layers on it, and that's when it goes to skin, it makes a huge difference. That thing, like the way is not that such of a predator, so gets away off the team a little bit, but it's still, you know what I mean, one of the most dominant animals in the ocean, so I think it is there. And rating all together, that goes to 7.8. I see where he comes from. It's a little harder to identify what kind of predator it is, but you can see it's a predator as he has the prey on it. The bad point, it's the fitment, you know what I mean? Very focused on the top of the design. There is something going on the back, but it's a little bit unbalanced and doesn't really work that way once you talk about putting a whole back. So for that, I give it a 6.6. I really like how it fits the back. The geometric part of that, there wasn't just the new geometric style that you see in those days. It has like the old school geometric related to tribal here. I really like the tiger face and the background 
The bad thing of the design that it bothered me a little bit was the proportion between the legs and the head. That's the only thing I would say that's probably the biggest point for me. So that, I give him a 8.4. I really like the composition. I really like how the snake goes around the whole spine up to the bottom of the back. You have three different layers as well, which you can see the background, the subject, and the movements around it. The bad part of it for me is the color of the bottom of it. It's a little bit darker than the top of it. I understand where it comes from to have the contrast in between the subject, but you could take more attention to the top part. I think it's the one that fits the team better and movement and layers. Yeah, really like. So for that, I give a 8.7. Yeah, it's not really hard to decide it, but I give it to Lachlan here for tiny little things as well. So here go, my friend. <laughs> that was a tough decision, but for 0.1, for 0.1, baby boy here, just lost it. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, subscribe if you want to see more, comment down below any epic punishments and we will feature them in the next few episodes.